Okay, here are some basic um, website edits that you can make through our template-based website. This is what the screen looks like once you log in. We will provide you with login info so you can get to this screen, but this is what it, it's going to look like once you log in. So, um, to do some basic text updates, you pick a page that has a lot of text on it so it's easy to read. You want to stay in this content tab. This drop down will display all your pages. So if I click on one of them that has some text on it, it'll open up the specifics of this page. And so you'll see under main content, it'll show our text. So it flies out and it shows you the text on that page. So if you wanted to go in and edit a sentence or remove something or add something, you can just simply do it here. So you just type what you need, delete what you need. Um, there's a little, a few functions within this box that allow you to to customize it somewhat, you can change the appearance of the text if you use a format to highlight your text and if you want it to be more of a heading, you can do that. Um, this of course is just straight paragraph text so it doesn't have a highlighted section in here, but you can change it if you need it to be bold or italicized or whatsoever. So after any edits, you want to be sure to hit the submit button down at the corner. I'm just going to close it so it didn't change anything. So that's just basic text um, changes. For changing an image, I'll go to another page that has an image on it. Like this one has an image underneath the text paragraph. So where it says gallery, that, that is an image that we placed on this web page. So you can click on here, navigate to your image itself, and it'll fly out and show you the image that we have. So you can edit if you hit the little pencil tool, go in and edit it if you need to. You can remove it and add a new one if you want to. Um, the other features here probably you won't have to use, but just for basic adding and removing images, that's how you would go about doing that. And of course, you'd submit it. Um, there's also some other functions within here, other features or components within the content such as, let me go to this page, we have um, not just text boxes and images, but there are accordions on some pages where they fly out with more information, but it condenses down. So if you needed to edit anything like that, you can simply go and navigate to the specific area to edit if you needed to, and always submit afterwards. And while you're making updates, it's always helpful to be sure to save and publish your updates, but also to preview them. And it'll open a new window so you can see what your page is going to look like and what has changed. Um, but going back to the interface, there are um, other components throughout the website that are not specific to certain pages, but overall um, the whole site-wide components such as uh, navigation, footers, the little like these pods at the bottom of every page, these show up on every single page. Those will be found in another area of this website interface. So another thing, if you see these, the little green button in the corner, that page needs to be published. So be sure to save and publish so that pop-up will go away. But to, to access the global aspects of the website, you're going to, instead of going to the individual pages, you'll come down to the configuration area under the content tab. You go to global settings and that will take you to areas, if you hit the global content, that will take you to the pods that show up down here, these three pods. So the first one is a text and image pod, the second one is an embedded code Facebook feed, and then another text and image pod. So if you needed to update something that shows up like on every single page, it's going to most likely be located in this area. Another area that you might need to update if like an address or phone number or email changed in the footer, normally we have a lot of content contact information, if any of that has changed, it's going to be in this area as well. So you would just go and click on the heading to find out your, what your information is if you needed to update any of that. 
text like this has been hyperlinked if it's highlighted blue and so if you needed to edit or uh, remove that you can go into here change the email address always keep the mail to and colon prefix if, you, if you're dealing with website or email addresses and then you always submit it when you're done submit it here again and then save the page um, if you needed to update anything on the navigation I know that's a little more complex but this is where you would go to do that if you needed to change the name of a page or um, rearrange the order you would do that here you can move move things before or after other pages by dragging it you can go in and edit things right here if you needed to change the name of what it's going to be and the organization of it it would be all right there um i don't i think that's pretty much a good basic overlook at how to update simple updates um, there's other things like banners this website only has a banner on the home page um, if you needed to change the text off of this banner or the graphic itself this one is one solid image so you can remove it here or edit it um, you're able to add and customize certain things with each component um, if you needed to add a text box say this the web page they needed a whole new text box at the bottom you go to this add content under your main content area you add content and that gives you the option to add different features now the ones we typically use the accordions and tabs we talked about those um, banners simple graphic images that go across the, the whole screen typically we put those at the tops of the home pages sometimes they're on other pages as well um, but the other basic ones would be the gallery if you needed to add an image or the text box if you needed to add simple text. You can also um, add other features like pods. They get a little more complicated with, with customizing them and making them look how you want within, within the website. Um, but there's always there's, there's room for, for customization in any way. It just gets a little beyond the basic though. So you're probably going to just stick with your uh, image graphics, your gallery images, or your text boxes for adding content. Um, I think that's a pretty good uh, intro to the basic changes you can make within this.